Hey everyone, Kelly here from Kelly Chassis Fine Art. And what I'm gonna show you today is how I created these cute little peacock feathers. And I'm using some blending solution on some Yupo paper. This is just some small scrap paper. And I have the colors cloudy blue. And I'm just basically filling that in on that paper. And I'll also, let's put a little bit more on there because the blending solution does tend to lighten it just a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little heavier. And to the side here, I have some green. I think this is well, late green or lettuce. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll check it out and I'll put the links down below. Actually, I'll put the links for uh, all the materials I'll use for, for this, as well as um, the video link to, if you're new to alcohol links, you've never used them before, all the materials that, um, that I use in most of my online courses. So I basically just did this little feathery strip across here. I'm using a real fine detailed brush and letting that dry. And once that's dry, I'm using the citrus and I'm just putting a dot on here now. So you can see how very organic this can be. So you can really kind of let this kind of do its own thing. Like my original painting is more like this, but let me just show you really quickly here how you can, if you're a person that likes to have a little bit more uniformity to things, you can take your brush and while this is wet, you can kind of shape that in. So it can be more of that feather shape for you if you like. And again, you can only do this while it's wet. So make sure you do this uh, as soon as you put the dots down. So if you're doing lots of different dots, you wanna work on one of them at a time. And you can also put another dot on here. So that gives it a little bit more texture. So you can see the one on the left there. That's the one I used without using any blending solution at all. So my dry time uh, was a little quicker for that one. So this one I'm using the blending solution just so you can see the difference. And this is a little bit lighter because the blending solution does tend to lighten the inks up a little bit. So it's a little bit more brighter and vibrant. So you can see that nice little shape that I have here. I'm gonna take that brush and just kind of maneuver that out again. And you can see where you can get those nice rings around there. Some people don't like that. You can take your brush and just basically scoop those right off and blend those right in if you want. So there we have the, just the basic shape of the of the feather and now I'm using some um, eggplant and just putting a drop down there and letting that bloom. So that green, that citrus green underneath is still a little damp. So you get a nice bloom and you can see it's a little bit brighter here than it is to the one on the left because I had put some pool blue down just so you can see the difference. So if you tip it up, you can let that kind of run just slightly down to the the front portion of that. You can almost get that same shape if it's really wet, if I had tilted that a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and try the pool blue on here. I'm just gonna dot that on there. Ooh, and that kind of blended a lot. So you see how vibrant that is? So when you put colors on top of other colors, they tend to move that other color underneath a side. So that was still quite wet, the purple was, so that really just kind of followed that same pattern and bloomed all the way out, which is not a problem. You can always go ahead and just put another dot of the purple back on there if you want to. And it will tend to stay right in that section because you can see where it's kind of has now have a ring around it here. So just, I'm coming down to that very end of it there. Almost making those peacocks look like they all have those eyes. So it didn't bloom out quite as far because I went down a little lower. So there you have it, a real simple, easy way to make a peacock feather. 